In this video, we'll be going through how to use Raycast to speed up the process of opening up the Notion app, searching through your Notion workspace, and creating a new page in your Notion workspace. Now, I want to make a quick disclaimer. Raycast is only available for the Mac operating system. So if you're using another operating system, don't watch this video any further. It's not going to be relevant to you. All right, now let's get into it. Now, first off, I'm going to give you a quick explainer of what Raycast is in case you don't already know. And then I'm going to give you examples of how to use Raycast to actually super power and super speed your Notion experience. So first things first, Raycast, if you don't know what it is, basically it's an alternative to the Spotlight feature on your Mac. Uh, so basically what Spotlight search feature is, if you don't know, is if you hit command space, I'm sure you've probably seen this before. It's Spotlight search. So let's say I'm trying to open up Premiere Pro. I can basically just search or use the keyboard to type Premiere Pro, hit enter, and it'll open up the app. You can do this with any of your apps. You can also just go ahead and search folders uh, or even search the web from this uh, little keyboard shortcut that you have. Now, what Raycast does is it's similar to this in that you can open up apps, but it also has a couple other features. So one of the things that it can do, I think for me, there's really three things that Raycast is really useful for, and there's other features. You can check out their website, see what you know they're used for. But me, mainly what I'm using it for, number one is to open up apps. Number two, to uninstall apps. So if you're a Mac user, you know sometimes that can be kind of complicated um, trying to find where to go to actually delete apps and stuff. And then number three, you can use it for like uh, keep clipboard history. So you can kind of keep uh, a record of you, the things you've copied and pasted. And so that's pretty useful, but it does have other features. And if you're interested in that, there's other videos out there that walk through Raycast specifically. Now let's get into Notion. So first off, let's open up Raycast. Uh, and before we actually open up Raycast, I'm gonna quit this just to give you an idea of what it's able to do. So first thing, I have my keyboard shortcut here as control space. Um, and then I'm just gonna start typing Notion. Um, and you can see here, Notion pops up and it has one, two, three, four different options here. So the first one is basically just going to open up Notion. The second one is search Notion. So you can search within your Notion workspace. The third one is quick capture. Basically, you can, you know, save a link or create a page really quickly. Um, and then the last one is create a database page. So if you have a database that you want to feed into like a Kanban board you're working on and you want to quickly, uh, you know, just log something this is really useful for that. So we're going to start with just opening up Notion. Um, boom, we're going to hit enter. And look, it opens up Notion. And so this is pretty cool. You don't have to you know, click this uh, at the bottom. It'll open it up just from your keyboard. Um, but up until this point, you can do that on Spotlight Search as well. So the next couple features are what Raycast is really good for. So we're going to quit again. Let's pull up Raycast, um, hit Notion. And then the next thing we're going to do is hit the second option. So we're going to scroll down one, hit Enter. And what I'm looking for is my notes on this video that we we're gonna do. So we're gonna go to this Raycast versus Notion thing, uh, or, sorry, Raycast X Notion, and then pull it up and it'll take you right to that page. And so you don't actually have to open up Notion or have Notion open up and then search. You can literally, right from Raycast, go right to the page that you wanna go to. Um, and this can be super helpful if like you're bouncing back and forth between different pages, um, you know, instead of, you know, trying to search through your different pages and, you know, the different dashboards you have set up, you can just navigate directly there through Raycast. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna close out of this again. Um, we're gonna open up Raycast and let's do quick capture this time. So let's do Notion and then let's do quick capture. And so you can see the options here. You can, uh, you know, whatever URL you have, you can save it as a bookmark full page, or you can summarize the page. So it'll go through the actual website and summarize it with AI. So over here, we're just gonna save a bookmark. This is the actual video we're recording right now on Loom. Um, and then we'll save it to the Raycast Gnosin page. You can see here, you can save it to any other page. You know, you can look up, uh, for example, you can just save it to the Learn Notion page if you want. Uh, for our purposes, we're actually gonna save this to the Raycast page because that's where we want it. And then to capture it, you can see here it says command enter. So you just hit command enter, captured content to page, you can see that little thing. And then let's just confirm that it captured content properly. So let's go back and let's hit Notion and let's search Notion and go to Raycast. I know it's there, I'm just typing it just to kind of give you an understanding of how this all works. Um, and you can see at the bottom here, that link that we pasted is right there. So you can add things to pages 
without even having to open up Notion at all. And then the last thing we're gonna get into is actually how to create a database page. So I'm gonna quit this again just to show you that you don't have to have it even open up to actually do this. So we're gonna to go to our Raycast shortcut, we're gonna to go to Notion, and then let's go to this last option here to create database page. And so over here, you can pick whatever database you have that you wanna to add to. So we have a number of different ones. So for me, I'm actually gonna add this to the content calendar. I'm gonna add Raycast X Notion video status in progress. Release date, let's say it's uh, tomorrow. Um, episode number, let's pick a random one. So this, these are the titles, um, these are the columns it's taking directly from the database. So whatever your database has, it'll actually show up here um, and you can fill that out. And so then you can add page content. Uh, need to post the video on YouTube, just as an example. And then at the bottom you can see create page, simply just hit command enter. And it says created page. Okay, so now let's go back and let's go to search Notion and let's go to content calendar. Um, yeah, so our content calendar is, this is the database and then it's in the simple content planner. So let's just go to simple content planner and let's go down here to our content calendar database, which is right here. And as you can see, it's right here. So the Raycast X Notion video is right there. Now, one problem, one issue that we actually, I, I haven't been able to figure this out. I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong, but as you can see, we put in progress in this section, but it has it listed as uh, not started. So I think it, it's probably just um, a, a, an issue that it has with these like, um, you know, option selects, these uh, status sections. Maybe this will get fixed later, but you know, for now you can just go ahead and manually update that. And then if you open up the page, you can see that the text we actually added is also there. So pretty cool. You don't, you know, the coolest part about this is that you don't even need to open up Notion to actually add to your Notion workspace. Now, just to recap, there's a few different things you can do with Raycast. Uh, let's just go through those again. Number one, you can open up the Notion application. Number two, you can search through your Notion uh, workspace. Number three, you can quickly capture links. And number four, you can actually create database pages without even having to open up Notion. Uh, super cool, and you can do that all without using your mouse. You can do these all 100% just using your keyboard with these shortcuts. And so that is Raycast, and for the people that love to optimize and really get the most efficiency out of every second, you will love Raycast and Notion. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope this was helpful.